Hello everybody, uh, I thought I'd do a little video as the festive season soon approacheth and uh, I was tinkering the other day with this little thing I found online which enables us to generate individual snowflakes that we can then use uh, on the vinyl. We can cut on the vinyl cutter or we can cut using uh, the laser cutter or you could even use this to uh, run on a CNC if you wanted to cut some big snowflakes out of uh, some thicker materials or whatever. So um, I found this thing online which is at um, www.misha.studio forward slash snowflaker and what it is is it's a little uh, website that basically generates uh, unique little snowflake designs um, and you can toggle about with the sub branches and the stroke width um, and you can click regenerate as much as you like and you can find one or more that you like and then if you click save as SVG it will download the file uh, to your computer so if I uh, open this in my downloads folder and then you can see I've done this a few times, but then open with um, Inkscape. And this isn't the fastest laptop in the universe, so it'll take a moment for it to uh, launch Inkscape. Here we go. So there's our file uh, dragged into Inkscape. Now, one of the things you might notice um, is that, of course, it's a, it's a white snowflake on a black background. Um, and that means that if you were to move this you over the white background, you uh, will lose the snowflake because um, obviously it's the same color as the background. So the first thing I like to do is just change the color of the snowflake uh, to uh, any color just to help us see it. The next thing I tend to do is delete the black background because uh, we don't need that and we certainly wouldn't, wouldn't want to cut out a massive rectangle around our design. Okay, so we've got our design. You might think, oh, you can just kind of, you know, send this to the vinyl cutter or the laser cutter now. But actually, what's going on here, if I show you in a different view, so in a, if I change the display mode to outline, you'll see that actually the paths for all, the, all this snowflake are just single paths, and then like a sort of a symbolic stroke has been applied on the top of it. So if we sent this through to a vinyl cutter, for example, it would just follow the single line cuts, which obviously is not what we want. What we want is we want the uh, cutter um, to follow the outside of these strokes. So the way that we convert this into a stroke is we go up to, uh, with the uh, snowflake selected, we go up to path and we click stroke to path. Okay, now we should see if we go back into the other view, which is dead handy because it allows us to see where the paths are. Okay, so it's changed all the, uh, all the paths to sort of follow the outside of the strokes. But now we've got a kind of a new problem in that if we cut this, say we cut this on a vinyl cutter, it would cut out every single piece in a tiny little section, um, and you know we would, you know, we don't particularly want that. We we want all the internal stuff, all the internal paths wherever it crosses over to to not cross over and be one kind of uniform outline of the uh, of the uh, snowflake. So um, we'll stick in this view. The way that we do that is we're going to use the union tool to stick everything together. But to do that, we need to get everything out of the groups that it's currently in. So currently, it's gr a group of one object. Okay. So if we click Control, hold Control, hold down Shift, and then hit G, uh, nothing happens. Why is that? Oh, I know. I know. It has to be single selected rather than double selected. So Control Shift G. There we go. So that's ungrouped it at the first level but if you look down here we've still got six objects selected of type group so each of these six objects is still a group so we need to click Control shift and g again and now we have 18 objects and they're all individual paths none of them are in a group anymore so leave all of those selected and then shoot back up to the path uh, drop down menu scroll down to union click union and there we go. That's um, exactly what we want now. Uh, so you can imagine that if we were uh, sent this to a vinyl cutter, it would cut out the snowflake, uh, and you know we could weed out the sections, these little sections that we don't want, but the rest of it would be uh, one continuous snowflake design. Hope that's useful to you, and uh, yeah, hope it helps you uh, create some lovely festive decorations. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.